I'm back. Uh, I just finished a Return of the Jedi style C-3PO head. Um, the replica of the head from Jabba's sail barge, where Salacious Crumb pulls out C-3PO's eye. This is a beanbag version of Salacious Crumb. If you recognize this character, if you're watching this, if you don't know who that is. Um, it's like Jabba's little sidekick. And now, let's see, let me see, I'm going to pick this up now. See, the, the neck ring stays behind. It's going to just be a little base for the display so it doesn't look naked at the bottom. But um, here's the head up close. Now the eyes come on. I just realized today that in the movie when there's a couple little tiny lights inside there, which I don't have at the moment, so this, this one's going to have to go without. Um, when I go to make my own out of probably one of these other 3PO heads, I'll make uh, my own Return of the Jedi version because I kind of like the way this came out. Um, I'll try to do that with the, uh, the extra lights. I'll try to make it as accurate as possible. I also want to make a, a, a connector so that when it's on the base, it can be powered by a USB, but if you take it off, you can use battery power. And I think I'm going to use a magnetic connector to uh, make the little connection so it comes on and off really easily. I don't have to unplug things. Here's the whole setup. The, um, the neck piece is just a 4-inch piece of PVC pipe. Um, the lighting, I used um, these battery-powered Christmas lights. They use three AA batteries. And the actual box, which I put a little piece of Velcro on so I can stick it up inside here, is from a hanging, some kind of hanging uh, dome pendant lamp thing. It takes a couple... I don't know, double or triple A batteries? Double A batteries. So I made this so it comes out so that if you have it on display, you can turn it on and off without having to pick it up each time. But if you want to carry it around or use it as a prop or something, that can stick inside and you can hold it. Um, but this is pretty much it. And so I made this for a friend named Sam Macaroni. I'll put a link to his page here. He does some really crazy videos with lots of explosions and things. And uh, he brought me out to California last year to do a Star Wars Disney spoof movie. It was really fun. Those guys are really fun to work with. But he has a really good uh, Salacious Crumb replica that he wanted a C-3PO head to display with. And I told him when I got some extra parts, I would set him up. So here's here it is. Now, it looks, you see it's real weathered. And if you look at pictures of Return of the Jedi C-3PO, he's pretty, pretty hazy and beat up looking. Um, here's my head that I use for my costume now. You can see it's a, a little bit cleaner, but also pretty dirty. Um, the, the mold for the face, these are both from the exact same mold. And I don't know if you can tell, but this one looks a little narrower. I'll try to get my hands off the face so you can, so you can see it. I'm not sure how well it even shows up on camera. It looks a little narrower. And what that is, is that the back of this helmet is actually from another builder's kit from the very first C-3PO head I bought. And it's a little bit undersized. It's a tiny bit small. And the back of this head is very closely related to a screen-used prop. And it's about half an inch wider at the base down here. So this face fits in there really nicely. Whereas this one, I actually have to squish the face a little bit to fit it into the back of the helmet, which makes it look a little narrower. If I back up more, make it look like repeal head boobs but uh, you see the difference so when my head kit is finished it'll be based on on these parts here and uh, the eyes are resin copies of my 3d printed parts as well as these and the antenna there's my dog perfect timing and this neck ring is also one of my 3d printed pieces that I modeled this and put on shapeways but the original part which is here um, was purchased by someone else and I borrowed it to make resin copies but this is uh, I usually use white strong flexible my dog I'm sorry I usually use the white strong flexible material and this is the high detail material um, the ultra fine and it looks great but every time I mold this it seems to get a full surface layer just a tiny tiny little bubbles which none of my other parts have done this of all the parts I've molded none have done it so I don't know if it's the material or something's reacting on the surface or 
what it is. So I gotta figure out a way to coat this without killing the detail. And uh, once I get back to that, I'll mold it again. Let's do the third time. And um, hopefully it'll come out real nice. So we'll see here. And uh, anyway, I thought I'd show this. This is going off in the mail tomorrow. So I wanted to showcase it a little bit before I send it away. So there it is. C-3PO, Return of the Jedi, one-eyed, uh, salacious crumb abused version.